Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. Right then, today we are fight with the enemy fighter escort, got hit at the beginning and lost all radio contacts, please fix. We need to refuel his aircraft, patch the bullet holes, replace the radio and set up the radio. Right, we got that great noisy contraption to go through, but refueling is easy and we don't have to worry about messing around with reloading the guns, which always makes our life a lot easier. So we go like that, and then we jump down here, and then we jump back up here. We're about 58% of the way done through all of the missions now in this game. I'm really enjoying playing this, by the way. I am. I'm actually really enjoying this one. I am hoping to get to a new plane fairly soon. I think we will. I don't think it's going to take all that long before we get to a new one. But we're starting to get used to how everything works. And at some point, there will be more planes added into the game as well, which would be really cool. Right, we'll climb back up onto there. Unless, no, just, just to do things differently, we'll actually put that fuel cap back on. There we go. Right, so that's that bit done. Then I need to patch the bullet holes. So we go to option number three first. And... It's like there's our bullet holes. So if we go to number one, no, we just need to go to number two. There we go, just number two. And then we can start working on all of these. Should be pretty quick. Like that. Next one. Take those off. There, and then that one down there. How many patches are we going to end up putting on this plane? I mean, seriously, we, we've already put several on here. And he's... Every time he seems to go out, this guy, he comes back with more bullet holes. I know some of them, they used to get shot and shot and shot and shot all the time. So, you know, there's going... You're going to have some of them coming back with, like, hundreds of bullet holes, just riddled with it. I'm wondering if there would be, like, a thing where they come back with, like, half the tail missing and they've managed to just limp home, barely. We do have to replace the radio in a minute. Hole bent inwards up there those two on right and another one over there like that right now so if I've got them up there the switch to number three mode a minute we're probably gonna have more of them uh, there we go it's being sneaky again it's doing them under here look very sneaky hole bent outwards Outwards, outwards like that. So we've got three holes bent outwards there. So then we can go to number two and we can put these patches on. Like that. There's one. There's another. That might be about it, actually. They don't, like, overdo it with the number of patches that you've got to put on. I guess it's... Yeah, it would get rather tedious if you're going to do too many. Right, there. We've patched the bullet holes. That bit's done. So the only bit that is left to do now is remove that. Uh, radio shelf. Radio? Ah. Radio battery door. Radio battery. Then the radio itself. Like that. And then we can go and get a new radio. So we've got to get the new radio and put on. I don't think somehow we're going to be able to maintain a radio. No. Definitely not. Right, well, in which case, we'll run up over here and we will grab ourselves a new radio, a new radio battery. Sign to confirm. Back round over here. And then we go to option number two. We put the radio in like that. Put that one in. Need to put the battery in. Close the door. Oops. I don't want to do that. I want to come around over here. Now I've got to do the noisy bit. Oh, actually, this the first bit here is not the noisy bit. You do the transmitter bit. Oh, there we go. This is the noisy bit. There. Nice and easy. A little bit. And we're done. Right. Once you get used to it, so you just, you, you literally, you put that one up. Then that one there, you put it to where you can hear people talking. And it's very close to that that you get the bit with the, um... Hang on. I want to press escape. No, I don't want to press escape. I want to right click. 
Uh, you, you put you put it up to the bit where you can hear people talking, and then once you've put it up to hearing people talk, then you uh, very very close to that you'll hear the Morse code, and then you can quickly tune fine tune it in after that. And it's very very easy. I've already set up the radio. I literally just set up the radio. Radio hatch. I did it. Tune the radio. I did it. Right. But I gotta do it again. Maybe I gotta do it again. Didn't recognise it. Alright, so we bring that out. So that goes up to absolutely crystal clear. Right, so that should now be all tuned. I've done that. So then we should be able to put that one back. Right, I've done it. So why aren't you saying that you're done? You you haven't come up with the, the, the big sort of... I just did it! Right, well that one's obviously buzzed, which means that we're going to have a, a fail on this, which is not good. Patch bullet holes, there's five points. Base radio, there's five points, that makes 15 lose 10 points on that final result pilot wasn't able to take off minus 10 so we've lost 20 point we overall we lost five points on the job it's not too bad we lost five points that's acceptable uh but that was definitely a bug we tuned that radio we actually did it twice but it wasn't registering for whatever reason i don't know why it wasn't registering it it it's a very strange thing but it wasn't okay Intercepted large bomber group en route to Gatwick. Downed one bomber. We got to replace the gun port patches, refuel, rearm, replace the gun camera tape. Right, so it's a very, very basic and simple thing that we've done many times already. So we will scramble up here and we will do the fuel a minute like that. And then we can run over to here and we can grab you. Up we go, put you into there, and then we go over to you, and load it back up again. We're going to put in about 50 gallons, I reckon, on this one. Maybe 55. Okay, 55. Almost 60 gallons then, fine. Alright, we'll put in almost 60 gallons, how's that? There, put the, yep, put the hose away, like that, and put you up there. Then we'll scramble back up here, we go into mode to and put the fuel cap on. Right. There's that bit done. So then all we gotta do is gun port patches and rearm all the guns. Right, that's a, a really we should be able to do this very quick and simple. So let's see how quick and simple we can make this. Uh breach cover up. So then we come over to the next one over there. Pop you up and that one. Pop you up like that. Take those two off. Breach cover up. That one off and you there. So then I can pop down underneath and that one. It's a shame that you've got to take these big ones off in order to be able to access those port ammo doors. You know, it'd be a lot quicker if you just had little tiny ones like that. Anyway, that's, that's the way it's got to work. So that's the way it's got to work. So we've got another one there. Like that, and then we can go to that one, and you, and then this one over here, like that, there, right, that bit done, now I go over this side, and I do the same over here, Pick you up, import patch, patch and patch, undo them there, and that one, and then breach cover, breach cover, gun port patch, and the final one with the breach cover as well. Don't forget the breach cover, and then we can pop down underneath and we can take the ammo door there, we can take that one, we can do you, oop, okay, we want to go up a little bit, there we go, like that. Uh, now we can do those two, and that one, there, I can do that one over there. Yeah, I'm going to bring that in ever so slightly. Just bring it in a little bit, and I can see it a little bit easier. Like that. Ammo box. And that one there. Okay. That's everything that I need to do onto there. So then I can go and I can get the ammo boxes. 
very easy and quick like that. Thank you very much. And then I'll go over here. The last thing that I actually... There's another thing I want to take apart, which is the gun camera access tape over there. Uh, so do that one, the camera shell, and then we pop that one out. So then we go to that one like that. Pop that one back in. Put that cover back over. Like that. And now... We can start moving our way up across here, doing this. So, underneath first. Down there like that. Put you in. And we do the same onto this side, right that. And then we can start closing all of these up. We'll do the bits on the top in a minute. Get to that in a minute. That's you down there. Pick that one. Another ammo box. There. Oh, there and there. I already did the um, the ports, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I did. Already replaced those. So put that down onto there like that. Right, that's those four down there. Yeah, I've done those. So now all I got to do up here, that one shouldn't be done. Why isn't that breach cover done? Or why was that breach cover done? There, we've got to put the ammo belt through first before we can put the gun port cover back over. Uh, ammo belt, ammo belt, breach cover, gun door. There. It might have been that I forgot to undo the breach cover. I may have done. I have forgotten things like that before. That's all right. It's only a minor detail. It's not the end of the world. So now back over this side. So we want to just do the gun port patches like that. Then we want to go underneath and we want to pop these in first, like that. And now that they're in, we'll start closing up these. So we've got that one up there. Then we've got that one over there. i uh, got 10 minutes left according to the clock, but we don't actually have the timers ticked. So timers are now fully optional, as far as I can see. So we have no time on this one. Although that being said, we've got absolutely no worries about being able to do this particular mission on time. I can't see us having any issues with getting this one finished. There we go. Right, so then we can come up over to the top and we pull the ammo belt through, breach cover, and over goes that one. There, over here a little bit. Ammo belt, ammo belt. It'd help if I pulled the ammo belt actually through, clicked on it properly. There, we can put that one on. And you as well. One more to go, and then that is everything complete. There, and you. Right. Task completed. Rearm the machine guns. All primary tasks complete. We're done. Look at that. We did that in no time at all. Gun port patches. Refuel. Rearm. And replace the gun camera. 20 points for those, plus 30 points for the perfect job. That gives us 50 points. That's going to take us back up to 1964. We've still got 500 points to get in order to be able to get all the way up to our next target and get our next round of boosts. Although the next round of boosts, I don't think it's going to be like quite as major for us. Next on the list, fight with a large group of fighters. After loss of three fighters had to disengage and run. Oil overheated. Refill if necessary and check engine for possible damage. Okay, refill oil, rearm guns, patch bullet holes, refuel, replace gun port patches and then check engine for damaged parts. So, we'll do all the basics first. And then after we've done all the basics, we'll then go and we'll start doing the engine. That'll be the last thing that we do. So, first up, we want to get you. Up we go, and you into there, and then come back down to here. Load you up. That's got to be 65 gallons, I reckon. Well, between 60 and 65, would be my estimate. Okay, fine, 59. 59 gallons, that was close enough. I don't think we did too bad there. Let's put that one back up there like that and scramble back up again and then I want option two and I want to put that one back on right and I want Ooh, wow we really are riddled with bullet holes here today we will start working our way over all of these bullet holes I'd like to get a load of these out of the way at least um, 
We're going to have a load underneath on the underside as well. It's going to be quite a, quite a job, actually. Look at them all. Uh, let's just put those on. Yeah, there's going to be at least five of them. Well, I say at least five. Uh, we, we've done five up here at the moment. And there's going to... There's another several over here. Is there more over that way? Maybe not. Maybe it's just on this one wing over here. If it's just on the one wing... Oh, no. <laughs> there's a load more over there. Uh, bent inwards. Very likely these are going to be through and through shots then. So we're going to go underneath and do all of these as well. Cut them all off and then repair them. So we've got uh, another one all the way over here. Like that. And another one up there. Another one down here. Right. Okay, we're definitely nowhere near done with the bullet holes. Do you see any more up here? <laughs> Look at them all! Told you there was loads. Right, that's the next one there. Like that. Now head over this way. We've got a few more up here. Ah, that's more like it. See, if you can get these just right. This is why I'd like a larger AOE for the screwdriver. It would make this particular little job a lot easier. It would be nice if that was like one of the... The bonuses, you get a slightly larger AOE for the um, the screwdriver bit, the, the spanner icon, um, to interact with. Just make things a little bit faster, wouldn't it? Right, that is everything on the top side for a minute. Let's take a break from, making, from, from doing those. We'll go to number one and we'll start undoing all of these as well. Right, there's... Breach cover there. And then that one. Breach cover, gun port patch. Not breach cover. Cover, I didn't actually take off the breach cover. There. Like that. I think I've done that a few times now, haven't I? I've done the first bit, but I haven't actually done the breach cover bit. There. So I'll do the breach cover bit there. And I go on a little bit further. I'll take that one off. So I've still got to do the bit underneath. There we go. With that one and you. Oops. Don't forget the breach cover. We need that. There. And then that one. And then the breach cover. Right. So now I've done it. Then I can come back underneath and I can pop that one off. Like that. And... Oh, no. It's over this side. Uh, you right there. Hole bent outwards. There. So I need to find the rest of these holes and clean them off like that. We got more. I think that's all of the ones there. Let's go over this side. There's one. And there. There. They didn't all get through, though, did they? Not all of them. Some of them went all the way through, but definitely not all of them. So we'll worry about repairing those afterwards. Right now, though, we want to come back over to this side and carry on with doing this bit. Right, so, yeah, done you. Then we can remove these ammo boxes and start working on the next ammo boxes. 25 minutes left. Right, the, the first bit won't be a problem, right? All, all of the normal work won't be a problem. What's going to be a problem is finding what's wrong with the engine. We've also got to reload the oil, refill the oil. Um, although, fortunately, we don't actually have a timer on it, so we're not going to have to worry too much about that. But it would still be nice to be able to do it within the time frame. Just to be able to say that we can, you know, that, that we're, we're mildly competent, at least. I'd like to have the tag of mildly competent, that wouldn't be too bad a tag to wear. Something you can wear with pride, that is. Frithgar, mildly competent. I can live with that. I think that would be something pretty good. Go over there. Instead of, you know, the, the usual. Frithgar, complete buffoon. Has no clue what he's doing. I tried explaining which way in, which way to hold the spanner, and he still held, held the wrong end. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's normally what happens with Frithgar. 
And we take that. But right, so that is all of those bits out. That's everything off of there. All done. And... Oh. Gun camera. Do that one as well. Take the tape out. Right. Now we'll run over here. Go into here and we'll replace the ammo boxes like that. And then we'll go back over and I'm going to start from this side. Go to option two. Gun port patch. Right. Put those two on. Then I'm going to go to that one. Like that. Over to these. Like that. And start popping some of this stuff back in. There. There we go. Right. Now, back over there. I've got an ammo box on there. And one onto there. And then you up. Ideal. There we go. Right, and we'll also do these if we can. Yeah, like that. Have I got any more underneath? I'm not seeing any at the moment apart from that one. Let's zoom in a little bit for that. There, right. Uh, right, are you seeing any more? Because I'm not. I'm now stuck. I have to zoom out like that because I got stuck underneath. Getting stuck wasn't part of the master plan. Right. Gun port patch on there. I've, I've done the bits underneath, but I haven't done these bits on the top. So we've got ammo belt and breech cover and you onto there. And then we've got the same over here. Ammo belt. Ammo belt. Breach cover. Breach cover. Put the covers back on over there. And then I've still got a couple of... Um, gun holes down the bottom to do on the other wing. Right, close that lock. Spin over this side. The gun camera tape in, close the shell down and the access cover. Did it not tell us to do that? Be sure that was one of the ones, but I didn't just get the thing coming up. Maybe we didn't actually have to do that one. You know, that wouldn't surprise me. We've gone and done it when we didn't need to. There's you. Another bullet hole. See, it's, if, you do this, if you do this from a long way away, it's actually really, really fiddly to get it right. Right, put you in and put you in as well. Like that. There. And then pop you down. And you down. And you down as well. Right. Put them over. And then over this way. There. Uh, like that. And then another one. We're down through. And then we've got patches there that we want to put on as well. Like that. So we can do those a minute. Sure, how many I've got under here? Is that one? He did. He did take quite a few shots, then, didn't he? Right. Well, the bullet hole patches are, are, are all done. That is one good thing. We've got all of those. We've got 20 minutes left. We can pull in that one, and we can do the breach cover, and we can close that down. And then we can go ammo belt, ammo belt, breach cover, breach cover, like that. Take those, and then you, breach cover, that's another task completed, like that. Right, we'll come off of there, I'm sure it said do the, no it didn't. We didn't actually have to do the camera at all, right, the camera wasn't a thing. But what we do have as a thing is we do need to do the oil, but we've also got to check the engine, so what we will do is uh, the oil was... He overheated, right? He did, he specifically said that he overheated. So we'll remove the cowling a minute, like that. There. 
We'll take all of that off, and then I'll remove that oil cap there. I'll bring you over this way. What I'm going to do this time is something that I've never done before. I'm going to bring the end of it over this way. And I'm going to bring it up that way, like that. There. Right. Now. Oops. I didn't want to do that. I want to pick up the hose. Insert the hose. And I want to come over this way. And use the controls. And you can see up there, see? Three, four, five, six. Used up a lot of oil, he did. So we just want to grab all of that out. We'll suck out all the oil that we can. If I start pulling this away before I take that hose out, is it going to damage anything? There's something that we need to find out. Definitely need to look that up. Right, now we can close you off and come out of that bit. So we've got that bit there. Uh, it, it's not even an option. It won't even let you do it. So I can bring that one over this way and put the hose away. Then I can come to the end here and I can pick it up. Although, I, you know, I didn't press spacebar, so I don't know if it, will let, if it would have let me do it or not. Absolutely no clue. But anyway, that's far enough away over there. Uh, let me go to number two a minute and take that one off. I want to put the oil cap back on. That's what I want to do. No, actually, now what I want to do, I need to check the engine. Crumbs. Uh, well, let's go with this first. Suppressor is fine. Supercharger is fine. Filter is fine. Wheel case. Generator. This is all looking good. Those are looking good. The magneto, oil filter. You know, I would have thought it would have been the oil filter if it was going to be anything. But we know that there's going to be something in here that's going to need doing, don't we? Right? That they, they wouldn't have said anything if there wasn't something in here that needed doing. So we'll just quickly check those over like that. Hydraulic pump. I'll take that one off. that. Right, and then I go back to number three, and we'll carry on checking everything, so that's all good. Um, starboard cylinder head, you are alright there. Uh, is there anything else I could check over here? Lower ignition wires, the cylinder block. I'll, I'm going to start, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to start removing these. We'll take off this rocker cover a minute, and then we'll start removing the bits underneath. Um... Take that one off as well. All the way up through. Down through there. Right. And then... No, I don't want to do that. I want to take that one off. Like that. And then I want to take that one off. There. If I remove all of those, I can remove then the, entire, the, the rest of the thing as an entire block. So I want that mechanism there. Like that. And as soon as I've got that rocker off, I'll then be able to just remove the rest of it. I don't think I've got to remove the starboard exhausts. Oh, I do. Right. Fine. I'll remove those off of there. And that one on that side. And then this one on this side. Like that. And then you. And then you. And then finally you over there. Right, so that's those done there. Then I can take off the entire assembly block like that. There. And those bits. And then once I've done that, I'll be able to go and check the assembly block... Uh, for spark plugs and things like that, as well as I can also check the pistons very easily once everything's taken off. I've already got those. I'm able to just go straight into this mode and look at them here. So those bits on there, they're absolutely fine. We've got nothing damaged on the pistons on there. And then on this side, we've got 
Nothing damaged on the pistons on there either. Uh, I will go we'll check the induction. Is there anything else that I can check on here? I don't think there is. I think there's oil control valve on there. That's most of what I can actually physically check on it. Starter. Yeah, that's all fine over there. Coolant. We've got the, the spinner plate and stuff up there. I suppose I might have to take some of those apart if we've got nothing else that I can check. Because it said check the engine. Right, well, I've checked those up there. So let's run down over to here a minute and check these. Now, I can already see those ones on the top. Uh, so what I want to check now is the spark plugs there. Port cylinder head, spark plug. Just make sure that these are all right. There's got to be something on here that's not quite working right. That would be my guess. Go over this way a bit. That one's good, that one's good, and that one's good. Right, okay, well, they seem all right. Let's go off of that one and go on to this one here. All of the rockers are absolutely fine on there. Spark plugs. I'm not sure what else we can really check on it. But that whole hydraulic pump mechanism on the end there. They're all right. Got a couple of plugs over this way. But I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah, see, they're all right. Uh, check the engine for damaged parts. If I got to take this engine apart further, I'm wondering if perhaps I've got to take this apart up here, where I can check the spinner and the propeller blade. But he would have said something about the actual um, spinner and propeller blade, surely. If there was actually a problem with that. I'm sure he'd have said something about it. No. Right. Distributor valve on there. Propeller assembly. Take that one off. So then the propeller itself will come off. Okay. Now we can go back to this. Uh, propeller shaft is fine. That one's fine. The pitch governor. That's all looking good. I'm going to go further into the engine, I think. I think that's I think that's what we're gonna want to do here. Um, nope. Bottom cowling. There's got to be something on here that's not right. Not not right. Um, nope. That one. Undo those four, and then right now the coolant tank, and then that one on there. That. And what? All of those all the way around there. Like that. Okay, this is awesome. There's loads of them. And it's coming off really fast as well. Uh, check. Gear wheel is fine. There's nothing else to check. Take that one out. There's nothing else to check on there. So go back to number one. Now the piston induction pipe. Take those off of there. And the induction pipe can come off. But there's, there's nothing else to actually check inside here. Well, I don't think there is. Like, you can remove the piston rings, but there isn't actually anything else that we can check inside. I suppose I could remove the wheel case and the supercharger. I can do that. Right, and then we've got that one up there. There's So there's probably something inside here, unless it's bits inside that other engine. Uh, the, the other engine parts we've already taken out whole. Oops, another piece up there. Nearly missed that. Okay, we... Uh, right, take them off. Magneto there. That magneto over there. 
Now what have I got to take off? You down here. That one. That. Right, have I got anything under here? Coolant pump. No. Engine... The, the, the filter. No, but... I've got to remove the engine starter to take that one off, and... Looks like there's another bit. No, sir. Coolant pump. That's got to come off. No. Fuel pump. That's got to come off. This more stuff's got to come off. Right, we okay. There we go. Right, now we can start taking all this off. Look at it go. Loads of it. So we take all of that off. I might be able to then check some more stuff inside here. Uh, the wheel case itself is absolutely fine. Let me go up and down in like this. There's... There is no parts inside that engine there that I can actually check. So those I could actually start putting back together because I can't physically check any of them. So I can start dropping that back into there and put the port magneto back on. And then the supercharger can go back on. That one on there. And all of those. And that one. Put that one back on. You can go back on. Uh, right, so we'll leave that lot there for a minute and we'll go over to these down here. And we'll zoom in a little bit and we want number one. Now, I'm going to need to start removing some of this. Stick you off of there. Manifold, wow. Lots of stuff off of this one. Take all of those off. I love that we're getting four of them coming off at once. It makes such a huge difference. But do we... Is this going to make any difference to us? Like it said that we've got to check it. I'm going to start taking all of these out. Remove that one. Fortunately, I can just click all of these valves and remove them. We don't have to spend absolutely ages messing around with them. Right. What are you now waiting on? No. No. Ah, spark plugs down here. Look. Take those out. That one, that one, and that one. And then... Remove all of those. Okay, if all of those go off, there's one thing that I want to find out is... Right, now that that's off completely, then I go to this. Port cylinder. Head gasket. That's what we're looking for. Is the actual head gasket. Right, I'm only going to do the one head gasket for a minute. Because I'm curious. Port head gasket. Is this the only one that needs replacing? It might be. Right? It could be the only one that needs replacing. Yes! And it is the only one that needs to be replaced. So we can put the rest of it back together again. I don't need to strip the other one off. Really, really luckily, we haven't had to... Right. Now, this is what I hate about the spark plugs. Is that they're very slow to put back in. Right? you got to do it like this. You've got to wait for each one to do back up. So fortunately... We didn't do this the other way round and strip the other one down first and then come to this one. So we've got the head gasket done and we don't need to worry about the rest. We've got five minutes left to do some speedy reassembling, which I have complete faith that we can do. Even if we weren't able to like do it properly. I, I, I do think that we can do this. Right, if we go up like that, yeah. I can do it like that. There, look at that. See? Boom. And then I can put you back in. And then I can quickly click through these valves like this. This is brilliant. Look at this. Look at them go. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. Put those onto there. There's no other bits to go back onto there. Right. So then I go all the way back over here and we start putting stuff back on here. 
uh, propeller shaft, that one can go in. The gear wheel, that one can go in. Then the reduction cover. I'll do that like that. And then start doing all of these up. There. That's all of those. Have we got any more? I've got that one to go on the front. And then I've got... Not much else, because I want to put these on. Okay, so we put the port cylinder block back on to there. And do that one. I've removed the um, the other bits from here. So I've got to put these port cylinder blocks back on first. And then we can put the bits for the spark plugs back on. The What are they called? The ignition wires. We can put all of those back on afterwards. So I've got a starboard... Exhaust port onto there. I can put you on there like that. Like that. I put that one on there. And then ignition wires onto there. See? Put all of these up. Put you onto there. And that one. And then I can put that one up there. Get that into place. Upper ignition wire. Put the rocket cover back onto this side. Like that. Have that one put back on. That'll be a fairly quick little job to do onto there. We'll put the upper ignition wires. I've got those two to join on and then just clip all of them back in. It not take long to clip those back on, does it? And put them in. We'll put the rocker mechanism back on. Like that. Oh, this is so much easier than the car. Me you know that the car mechanic simulator is. It, it was a good. It, it well, it is. A, it was a good game. It is a good game, but it's the having to like individually click and hold every single screw. So when you've got like something that's kind of looking a bit like this. Um, it was a very, very time-consuming process, wasn't it? There's no denying that it did sometimes get a little bit tedious having to do jobs like that. And there's one there. Right, you're on. And propeller blade assembly. That's got to fit back onto there. Uh, is that everything up there already? We can put that front cowling on. Yeah, like that. And then, oops. Right, what have I got in this side? Put that top one on. Like that. Up there. Have I got everything back on now? I guess I have. There's that one is all on. Uh, well, I'm going to put that one back in. I'll, then we'll just do this front bit up here a minute. So then we've got the propeller dome on there. One minute left. We're not going to do it in time. There's something. There's more stuff to go under. I think there's things that we got to put underneath. Uh, like the, the pump and stuff. I think that's the bits that we've got to work on. So there's some. And uh, yeah, there we go. Like the, the coolant pump and stuff like that. Let's bring that in. Right. And then we've got the engine starter in here. Wait a minute. That, oh, no. The coolant pump was all right. An option two, so now I can put that one back on. Bottom engine cowling, that one's all ready to go in place. This cut, this cowling here, we're not going to make it in time. Time will be against us, but because we were still sort of looking for that last little bit on the gasket, so we we it's it's going to be just ever so slightly against us. And I've also got something else. in this engine in here that has not yet been fitted. There's something in here that hasn't yet been... Ah, there it is. The fuel pump in there. Look. There. Right, now we're done. That's everything now. Get all of those up. Over there. It said one minute left, didn't it? Over that, so yeah, that's all done. Right, so that should be done. We, I mean, we weren't far off. 
we weren't far off at all on that. That is all we've got time for. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, just not all parts, but some parts may get damaged. Spinner. Really? Good job, 10 points up. So we, we kind of went neutral on that. So I lost, I lost 30 points on that. Ugh. Well, uh, never mind. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.